G'day, today we're going to have a look at the demo for Train Valley World. Um, this isn't necessarily the first time I've had a go of it. The game keeps crashing on me, so I've um, I've filmed sort of a lot of this twice, and uh, we're slowly getting there. Okay, so we're just going to jump through the tutorial, move the camera around, uh, platform building mode. So I'm going to move with some pace here because I've done it. Connections. Now, a difference between the other valleys and this one is that instead of like clicking each individual path, you actually can just build a straight line. Turn that track building mode off. Open the locomotive list. Uh, we're going to pick the smallest train. Then we then click on the logs. No, sorry. We say click on the logging camp to add it to the order list. Why have I not got that? Where is he? That's what I want, that one, add orders. That one, so he's going to load wood and then he's going to drop wood off here for now. Um, it doesn't need to do that. Let's just quickly confirm that. So there's two different things that this uh, game is offering up. So you can see this guy here needs planks and that's basically our trophy achievement thing that we need to do. But he also accepts wood, and that is just that he'll um, he can just gain me money by just continually taking more and more wood. As long as you can see that he's, it'll quickly like load back up, and so once that's loaded again, then he can take more wood again, um, and so you can have like continuous supplies of income in this game. Okay, so. Then what we can do now, you can also have trains basically travel through each other, so they're not going to crash like they do in um, Train Valley 2 and 1. So what we want to do this time is we're going to say wood from him to there, and then we're going to pick up planks, and we're going to send them to there. Confirm. Now one of our um, three-star achievements on the side here is to own three trains. So once we've got enough money, uh, there we go by that last one. Um, and what I suppose we can do with him is we can say, add orders from there to there. Um, uh, and then what we can do is go back to our train list of this guy and change his job to get rid of those two. So all three of these guys are just doing one individual task. Train one takes wood, logs from, um, Top right and drops it down here. Train two takes logs from the top right and drops it down here. And train three takes plank planks from the bottom right and moves into the bottom left. The fastest mode in this doesn't feel exceptionally fast. Some of this feels quite manageable as a way that you just play on. Done. So that is our first level. Then this thing goes crazy, what it's offering us here. So we're going to pause for a second because we've only got an hour and five minutes for this one. We've got wheat here. We've got cows here. Now one other handy thing is that you can see if you put your um, cursor over something, it'll tell you where that can get delivered to. Like what, what does it want? And same way, this one will say that the wheat will come into it and the cows go out. So those are the only things that require those. Now we have to pay to get this cow um, city available. And then we've also got, say, these ingots. And like, so anytime we're unsure about where something gets made from, it's where it goes, it's where it gets sent. Okay. So what we want to do first is operate within the area that we already have. Um, I'm going to go train station there. We are going to go train station here, and then I'll go train station there. So firstly, we are going to say, um, from the side wheat, from there to there, and then we'll go cows from there to there. Keep it nice and simple, just trying to save as much money as we can. Um, now we're allowed to have 10 trains, and since we can just give trains new jobs, doesn't seem like it's that detrimental to um, sort of spend uh, 
like change what their, their role is. So for example, we're going to start with this one guy. We're going to put wheat on there and we're going to send the cows, uh, drop them off at the cows. And let's pick up cows and then drop them there. Let's start with that. Now the other thing that you can see while this guy's going is we've got specialists available as a section. So for $10,000, we can improve his tra passenger transfer by 50%. So that's, I guess, if he's carrying people. Um, adds one bonus car to the train. Raises the train speed by 30%. Prevents the train from slowing down when loaded with cargo. So let's upgrade his speed. And let's upgrade our speed too. So now basically we are just going to be waiting for this guy to make us enough money so we can then expand. Now I think that expanding out to one of these is probably more important but you can see how expensive that is. But this is sort of um, the thing that I've really been almost want to say confused about with this game is this period here like it's slow going i need eighty thousand dollars or ten thousand to open up that other one but then that puts me even further back for going the eighty thousand because i haven't yet finished loading these cows anyway so i wouldn't really be sending that much here actually i can send something there let's uh look at it let's destroy this uh cow paddock just so let's buy that let's spend ten thousand to put a train station on it uh, and we will go. I want you to come down this way. I want to be able to make those two connect as well. Then what we can do is we can wait till this guy sort of progresses a little bit further, and we can more lean into these other tasks of. Um, Passages. So if we just wait for this guy to deliver here, we can grab this guy. He's a three seater. And we can say, take the passages from here and deliver them there. Then load the passages from there, take them to there. Load, unload. And then what we can do is we can get a specialist for him uh, to increase the income of passengers. So instead of getting 2,000 per passenger, we're now getting 3,000. And basically that's his job. He's just to run through there, make us money. Now you can see when they, the trains go through each other, they just sort of stop for the second that that's happening. So it slows us down the tiniest little bit, but I don't think in a way that we need to worry about trying to work around it. I mean, potentially what I could do is just build a um, train line that runs to the other end of Birkenhead. But you can see we are now moving pretty well and making money. In fact, I wonder if setting up this passenger line is the best first thing to do on a level like this. That having his income just running straight one to two is the, uh, is the way to go. We have to keep our eyes on these cows. You can see we're on 27. So... As soon as this guy's done here, we want to say get rid of that order, add that order. Now he will go sort out our second lot of cows. Birkenhead can continue to take cows forever though. I mean that's part of its um, what it can do. This guy can't, so well, we can continue to make cows and then drop them off there once once this guy's done. We have more than enough money. Let's slow things right down. Um, okay. So what we're looking at here is this guy needs iron ingots. So you make those, we need coal and we need iron ore. So if we put this here, this here, this here, that there, and we can say one, two, two. And then we'll go this guy through there. Oh, not enough funds. Okay, then we're gonna need two trains. 
Wait, just there. Uh, two trains. I think we need. I mean, we've got ten, so we can. Um. Always re. Uh, Reset them if we need. Okay, so we're gonna get this guy. We're gonna get him to go. Coal to iron ingots. And that's it for now. Um, oh, I can only have one specialist per train. Or like, as in one specialist once. Alright. Then we're going to add a fourth train. And we're going to tell this guy to go from iron ore to uh, there. And then pick up steel and drop it here. Sort of back on the way that he's traveling anyway. Well, that's happening let's continue to look at what other parts of this we've got okay i need copper ingots and this is going to cost us eighty thousand to open as well let's not wait for that to come along check on our cows too because he's on 15 because once he hits um he, yeah like i said we want to send him back that way You exclaiming about cannot unload. Why not? Oh, it seemed fine. All right, and that's us with a hundred thousand. So let's open up this guy. Okay, now he needs, well, firstly, let's put in train station. All right, we need more than just one. Train station there. Um, start these two at least. Action there. And then we can go train station here. Connection to there. I feel like half the expense here is going to be going through those trees that we're knocking out. So let's skip them. Okay. So then what we can do. I'm going to just finish building my train lines first, I think. So I'm going to build this guy to here it's really confused with those little turns and then we'll build this guy here uh, and we'll whip him around this way so we can avoid those trees that one okay so then what we can say is um, two more trains we want you to go from coal to the ingots, and then we want you to go the ingots to heart. Then we want to say train, and we want you to go copper ore to here, and then here to there. So basically, like the two trains are going to be competing to take. Um, the copper ring gets to the two different locations that need them. Alright, so this guy can now take cows as well, so he's happy just sort of collecting them as they, they come along. So no changes required there. We can see we've got this guy up 12 of 30, so he's along. And then we have another section. Now this guy needs glass and brass pipes. We're going to need to make these sand. Well, I feel like the brass pipes I need to be making at this end because there's sand. 
um, because it's using two things on, from the, up this way. We're gonna say brass pipes there. I don't want to wait um, for this guy to uh, for the ingots to be done for these two. Having said, I can claim the hole. In fact, I can claim both, I suppose. He needs 30 as well, so we're going to be heavy. So if we go and add another train, uh, stick with the trench train. Go one, two, one, two. So you can be collecting them as well. You're gonna need 30 of those. It's gonna max out at 10. Really what I should do is let's buy that. And go. Station there, then connect this guy in. that and then we'll run this guy around to there I think the um, iron ink gets to so once this guy's finished we want to stop um, stop sort of forcing those guys that way but we also need um, actually, can I build another one of those? Yes. Okay, so this 40,000, I'm going to build a steel smelter. Not enough industry points. All right, actually, that'll be my last thing. But because the sand's down here... We're going to need to get sand all the way back to this guy. It's going to be our glass maker, really. I think it's the only other option that we've got. I also need um, why it gets up this way too. Almost completely forgot about that one. Now this guy's almost done. him that just that moment to finish that up I can't buy you yet though can I no, I need to finish one of the cogs this is a star here that's a cog this is a cog over here as well who's see up to 15 or 5 he's 5 so he's losing to this guy great okay so that one's done so you Cancel that, and now you go to there. Drop off. Yes. So, kind of done that around the wrong way too, because that now means that we've got to wait for him. And this one. So we're going to cancel his order. Um, to all right. Drop that order. Drop that there. No, not the passengers. The thing you're currently holding. kill him because he can't all right kill those two empty your cars and just start your out you're okay buddy don't think too hard but at the same time i've also got this guy swiping um copper ingots as well So let's um stop this guy for now because we do really want our friend up here getting that
I'm making some good money now, though. Yes, where your strategy really comes into it. But we've, um... basically that we're like so far back on the amount of iron ingots that we need just for everything and that how much more important it was to focus on those cogs or allow us to keep going I'm just gonna have to fast forward at the moment because he's just waiting on one of these two cogs to complete what they're doing um let's speed this guy up I think what I can do is if I tell this train no this train will add orders to him to go to there and then to here and then tell this train only worry about the ingots Because the, the stars thing here, I don't even need to get these stars. Like the gold requirement for that was to just get two, and I've already got two. It really shows you how much you shouldn't be prioritizing those at all. I mean, we've still got 25 minutes, but there's no way, based on the speed that everything else we've done, that we're going to get. Um, stop him for a second. I'm just going to wait for that second one to be ready. Then he can just do this in one trip. Then we can tell this guy to start again. Um, and we can tell him to stop. And tell this guy to. Well, we're going to change it again. So we're going to say to him, go the add orders um, from here to there. Um, close. This guy, you are now going to do coal from here to there, and then you're going to go the brass pipes to final destination. Now, we do have a second cog from that. So we're gonna open up this guy. It's gonna be the glass factory. More than enough money. So let's add a big old train. Uh, but first, actually, let's get these two connected. And it is a big old train. Take sand to there, take there to here. And you can have bonus car. Goes up to 15. Yeah, so he can start going soon. Not that I guess I even needed to get this cog. The only reason I needed this cog would be to give me the luxury of opening up another uh, one of these industries, which I don't need because all I need is to get 30 here and I'm done. However, one of my requirements clearly is to get 110 ingots. So if we were trying to do that, then we definitely need more. So let's run this guy to here. Just speed things up while this guy goes and gets us that final cog. Okay, 
then we add this, we say another smelter. Okay, so then we want... Um, talk to me about the trains that are over here. What are you objecting about? I cannot unload. Why can you not unload glass to... I don't know. Alright, so two more trains. Um, let's just go all in. So you go from there to here. Another train, you go from here to there. Now, where's this, that other train? You. No, you're just coal. You. So we want to get rid of these parts of your job. And... What are you doing? You're still moving around. We don't need the money, so let's get this guy and we'll tell him to empty your cars, kill all of that. Your job is now to take um, add orders. You're going to take iron ingots from there to here. And our other friend at the top, you, later drop these passengers. Gonna kill those and then ask you to that from there to here. Go for it, fellas. Who's this? Can't find route. Can't figure this one out. So to tell you to start. Okay. And with these, I need to sort of, I almost feel like I need to shift more trains into just the delivery process here. See that these guys actually have just got like way more stuff to deliver than um, so if I say add orders for this guy and we go that to there, confirm. That one train's job is now to deliver both things to coal. And then say this train can cancel his duties. He can also um, take iron ingots over. Same goes for... Not sure what the duties of the guys over there are. feels like a less puzzle element to this. I wouldn't say it's more casual. It feels like you've got a lot more stuff you need to be aware of, but it's different. It's definitely they've uh they've between Train Valley 1 and 2 they recreated the way that you play and I mean at Train Valley 2 and this they've recreated it again. I mean they've added so much more additional DLC to Train Valley 2 that it's certainly appreciative that they haven't just tried to add the same like just recreate the same game. I can't believe there's three guys whose job it is to drive ingots over to um, the, the final destination and they're still the one losing and kind of delivering the most. What a 
objections have we got? I really don't understand what these sort of issues are that they have because he's saying he can't deliver, but then he delivers and then he continues on. I think it's because it's got 10 full. So that's a real pain of, pain of this if something's got maxed out. And so what's this guy doing? So I, I, what, I just never told you to start? What do you mean he can't find the route? Figure it out. It's right there. And I don't really get how to tell them to figure out the route. Why can you not figure it out? Why are you showing me this bit of the path here? Like, you don't need to go down there. Cancel, cancel. Add orders. You pick up thing from here, you drop thing here. Confirm. Can't find her out. But I mean, all of this is connected. The other trains over here are figuring this out, right? Okay, what if I said... I said this. Non-stop. Can I make that change? So I can say here... I can wait for full load, that's kind of cool. But I don't want to, I want... What I want you to do is I want you to go to here and then head down here. Because you can't figure this out yourself. Well, we've blown past that star time, but again, that's fine. That's not why we're here. And I know, and I sort of think that we can figure out why or how to, to improve on that. Is Someone's delivering stuff. Like, this guy's figured it out. Why can he not figure it out? Alright, what if I did this? What if I said to this guy, this train, add orders, go there, then pick them up, then go there. Get rid of that one. Load. Load here, load... No. No. Can I tell him to drop? Load there, drop there. Load there, load there, go there. Can't find her out. Empty all cars. Figure it out again. Give it a second run. There you go. We're almost there. We've only got the 10 of this um, steel to go. It's so annoying that there's that steel on, on the top right that's got 10 of it. They steel this iron and gets, aren't they? They just look like steel. Someone not delivering coal to... Is it this guy that he's just stuck because he can't drop one off, so he's... Um, no, he's got soul duties, so I'd say empty all cars, cancel, cancel. Add orders, go there, go there. Submarine. Two failed, one succeeded. Well, there we go. So, Train Valley 2 definitely, um, sorry, Train Valley World, definitely a much different looking game to what Train Valley 2 was. Uh, for better or worse, I guess we'll see as we, uh, we get more used to it. Any questions or comments, feel free to chuck them below. And until next time, catch you later. See ya.